Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So round three of the 200% perfect combat simulation event is officially here and the effective category this time is Wicked Bloodline. Now, if you guys didn't like the previous two stages, I would like to say that this one is better, but honestly, it's actually a lot worse because at least with the last two stages or last two rounds, you could one-shot the Goku with certain units, right? But for this category, I'm pretty sure there isn't a single unit that actually has the ability to kill Goku in one shot. I could be wrong, I might have missed something, but all the runs I've seen so far from other people have required at least one additional super attack from one unit or multiple units attacking individually to uh, kill the Goku within two turns and clear all the missions. Okay, so this one could be pretty rough. It might require a lot of resets, a lot of good RNG, and of course, a lot of patience. Okay, so with all that said, let's jump in here and uh, give it our best shot. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long, but you never know, right? So the main attacker I'm gonna be using for this round is gonna be the free-to-play Int LR Metal Cooler Army. And since they are Int, we're gonna go for the tech stage here. And of course, you don't have to use them. They are one of the better units, one of the better attackers, but I've seen people clear it with the Fizz Final Form Cooler, the EZA Fizz Full Power Frieza, the SDR LR Full Power Frieza, um, LR Mecha Frieza and King Cold, and I even saw one guy do it with the STR Majin Vegeta. I mean obviously he isn't in the effective category, but with a full board of orbs and also an additional super, he can also get it done. So yeah, you have a lot of options as far as attackers go, you don't have to use the one that I'm using. Oh, another good option is the... Um, Dokkan Fest Fizz Transforming Frieza, right? So on turn 1, you pop the active skill, transform into Angel Golden Frieza, and he can also do it with an additional super once again. Okay, so regardless of which attacker you go with, you want to use a double Candy Vegetos as the leads, and you want to bring one of the nuking items. So I'm going to go with Tabura Cookie, mainly because I'm running out of the other items, but any of the five will work just fine. And I'm actually going to replace the Trunks here with uh, Weirus since he has the ability to change two types of orbs. So that's going to be the team. As you guys can see, we have our main attacker, the Metal Cooler Army, and then we have two orb changers and two supports. I mean, of course, this Vegeta acts as both a support and an orb changer, but if you guys don't have this unit, then I would just replace him with your next best available support, like, um, you know, AGL Turles, for example. And uh, oh, also this EZA Metal Cooler obviously is a great support unit, but he's also here for linking purposes with our Metal Cooler army. Okay, so that's the whole setup. Your team might look a little bit different, but the concept is the same. Double Candy Vegito leads for the New King leader skills. And then you have your one main attacker, you have some orb changers, and also some support units, and also one New King item. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump in and hopefully get some good rotations here, and uh, maybe some nice you know, RNG with the uh, orb changing item as well. Okay, so this is actually looking really good. Okay, this is actually nearly perfect. Um, we just have to pray that the Dabura cookie doesn't fail us, but otherwise, uh, I'm pretty hopeful here, guys, because we have the Metal Cooler army, we have the EZA Metal Cooler, and we also have the support Vegeta on the second rotation. So yeah, with some good RNG, we might actually be able to beat this on the first attempt. Oh, by the way, um, we recently learned through some data mining that uh, the Goku has exactly 200 million HP, and he also has defense of one. So he basically has no defense. He just has a crap ton of HP. And that's why it's so hard for people to, you know, kill him within two turns and clear all the missions, right? But uh, yeah, with that said, I have to use the items now. I am very, very nervous. I'm not gonna lie, because this setup is just perfect. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. That is one Dabura cookie. Ooh, okay. Okay, yo, please change the ant ones though. Ah, we didn't get it. Okay, so 16 orbs. Um, 16 orbs is not bad. I do think we'll need to get super, super lucky here and get at least two additional supers because I don't think one additional 
is actually going to be enough without a full board of orbs. Um, whatever, let's give it a shot. Okay, so I'll give one to the easy ammo cooler. That's going to be 17 orbs for the LR. And uh, here we go. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the support metal cooler is not going to be doing much. And there's the metal cooler army, 9.5. 9.5 is the attack stat. And we hit for 66 million. There's one additional. Ugh, yeah, didn't get lucky. Didn't get lucky. This is what I was afraid of, man. So we got him to about 50% HP, which isn't too bad, but obviously not anywhere close to good enough. So that means it's time for a reset, and we're gonna try this again. Yo, before I keep going, I want you guys to pause this video right now, go down to the comments, and tell me how many attempts, how many runs do you think it'll take me to uh, kill the Goku within two turns with this team, okay? Because I think it's gonna be roughly five or six. I could be wrong, it could be a lot more, but I think five or six is a good number. And of course, we're only counting runs where I actually go into the fight, okay? Like if we get a really bad setup where my Metal Cooler army is in the third rotation or something like that, then I would just quit immediately and that does not count as an attempt, okay? So yeah, guys, pause the video, let me know your predictions in the comments and uh, let's see who gets it right. All right, so here we go. This is attempt number two. Uh, I lied, this is not attempt number two because like I said, Metal Cooler in the third rotation does not count. Okay, so now we have ugh, Metal Cooler with both Candy Vegitos, so that's another reset. So we're on reset like number four or five, but still only one attempt in the books. The Burrow Cookie, um, not bad, not bad. Second one, decent, decent. Okay, so 17 once again. Um, last time we got 17, I mean, we actually did some decent damage, right? Oh, never mind, 18 this time. 18, okay, we got one more orb than the previous run, and if we get one additional super with a crit, I think Goku should die here. But we'll see, I don't want to speak too soon. All right, so now we have 10.2 as the attack stat. Can we get a crit? That's one crit. There's the additional super, okay. Yeah, we might need two, actually. We might need two, ooh, damn. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Okay, so we either need a full board of orbs or two additional supers, it seems like. Unless we can get double crits with only one additional super, I think that would also be enough. But uh, yeah, as you guys can see, didn't happen this time. So that was our second official attempt. Ah, <sighs> okay, okay, here we go. Burrow Cookie, you only have to change a few here. All right, change the SDR, please, with the second one. Ah, we only changed one. All right, so 18 orbs again, guys. Uh, actually, if I give this one to the, oh, it's still 18. All right, I thought like if it dropped a little bit differently, we maybe could have got one more, but yeah, 18 orbs, just like last time. Now we really need at least two additional supers, or at least two crits, and I think we'll be good. All right, so 10.2 again. Of course the easy A1, the easy A metal cooler crits, and this guy's not gonna crit, watch. Yeah, 71 million, normal additional. <sighs> Damn. Damn. Let's see if we can get a full board here. I still haven't had a full board of orbs this entire time. And now we do. Okay, so that's 23 orbs, the most we've had. Unfortunately, we don't have the extra support. So we are probably not gonna have a crazy attack. Okay, 11.5, 11.5 is good. Okay, so now we just need at least one additional super. If okay, there's the additional super, can we get a second one after? Please? Ugh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Ah, <sighs> despair, pain, suffering. This event sucks, man. I hate it so much. Like, I'm able to get it done with, you know, enough attempts. But the point is, there should not be an event that is this painful to do when the rewards don't even justify all the effort. 
You know, like if they were giving out 15, 20 dragon stones per round, I'd be like, okay, this event really sucks. But at the very least, I'm getting a ton of dragon stones. But that's not even the case, man. All we're getting is five stones. Five stones for doing this. And if you guys don't feel like, you know, wasting your time, I really, really cannot blame you, especially for this round specifically, because we don't have that like one shot um, attacker, right? So you do have to rely on even more RNG than normal to get those additionals and get those crits. Okay, so this is a really, really good rotation. Once again, we've had this situation though. We've had this situation though, like we've been through this before. And if we don't get any orb changes here, <sighs> God damn. All right, so let's attack first with the easy metal cooler. Up a Deburo cookie. That was barely anything. Second one. Uh oh. Yo. This is the one. This is the one. Okay, this is the run we've been waiting for. All right. So, if we don't get it here, I quit. I don't, I don't even care. If we don't get it here, it's over. 4.3 million is the attack stat. Okay, nice crit. And, oh please, one more additional super. Yes! Yes! Okay, so that one was actually from the hidden potential system. That one was not from the, uh, the passive, because he gets up to two additional attacks on his passive, and both of them were normals, but then we got the additional super from its hidden potential and there we go guys there we go it only took um i think it was five attempts i think it was five tries in total but a lot of resets so if you guys guessed five then congratulations you were right and i was actually on point too i think i said five right i said five or six so yeah five attempts a lot of resets like it still took me you know 45 minutes of just sitting here refreshing over and over again so um yeah just practice a lot of patience guys it's been this way for all the stages but especially this one since you're relying on rng even more than normal right so uh yeah that's it guys that is the wicked bloodline run for the combat simulation event i do not want to look at this event for another few days until the next round comes out and yeah i wish you guys the best of luck let me know in the comments down below if you were able to beat the Goku within two turns, what team you used, how many attempts did it take, and uh, whether or not it was actually worth the effort. Okay, so that's it guys, that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.